Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna give you our recommendations for four things that you should do after installing Windows Server 2022. Now, if you're interested in picking up a copy of Server 2022 or other versions of Server, Windows, or Microsoft software in general, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all those links down in the description box below. You can save on your purchase. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. All right, so I'm currently running Server 2022 from a virtual machine. And if you wanna know how to do that, click the link to this video right here. So the first thing that we recommend you do when you first install Server 2022 is to check for updates. So we'll pull up the start menu here and we'll press on settings. And then if I just scroll all the way down to the bottom, we have update and security. And then we'll click Windows updates. And simply clicking this little button right here will check for updates. And then if you have one that's available, go ahead and install that. And it'll help your server run as optimally as possible. Now, the next thing we recommend you do is to add your disk into the task manager. And you can do this with a simple command. So if I pull up my task manager and click over to performance, you can see that my main disk is actually not showing up here. So easy way to fix that. I'm going to press the Windows key to pull up my start menu again. And we're going to search for CMD to open our command prompt. Now, once we have our command prompt open, we're going to type this command. We'll put it on the screen here. And that is disk perf space dash Y, and then we'll press enter. Now, what that did is it's going to add all of our disk information into the task manager. So let me reopen the task manager to show you guys the difference. And we'll click performance. And as you can see, disk is zero, which is my main disk for my computer is now in my task manager and I have all that analytical data. Now, the next thing that we recommend you guys do is enable remote desktop protocol. This is going to enable remote connection to other computers, and it also provides network access for remote users as well. And we're gonna show you two different ways that you can enable this. So the first way is to press Windows key, and while that's held down, I'll press R. And we're gonna type REG edit. We'll put that on the screen again. So reg edit and then okay. And this is gonna pull up a big directory here. There we go. So it'll look like this when you first open it. We're gonna click this drop down menu, H key local machine. We're gonna drop down on system and then current control set. We'll drop that down. We'll drop down control underneath that. And then we're gonna scroll all the way down until you see terminal server. And once we get to terminal server, we're gonna double click it. And we're looking for this little file here, F deny TS connections. So by default, the value is gonna be set to one, which is going to deny this remote protocol. Now to change that, I can simply right click on this and press modify and then value data. I'm gonna set this to zero. And let me quickly show you guys the other method on how to do this. We're gonna open our file explorer and then all the way down here at this PC, we're gonna right click this we're going to click properties and then from here we're simply going to scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says remote desktop and we can click on this and turn it on press confirm and now remote desktop is fully enabled and the last thing that we wanted to show you guys is how to invoke the bba model so it's just two simple commands to get this done so we're going to start by clicking our start menu and this time we're going to search for windows powershell we're going to right click and run as an administrator and we're going to start with this command here. We'll put it on the screen. And the command is get dash BPA model. We'll press enter. And once that's done, we're going to enter this entire command right here. And we'll also put this command on the screen. So once you type that exactly as it is, then we'll press enter. And now it's going to add the BPA model into your system. All right, so that's going to do it for today's video. We really just wanted to share a few tips on what you can do right after installing server 2022 to kind of get it ready for use. If you guys have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, we always appreciate a like, subscribe, comment, and share. Again, if you want to pick up your own copy of Server 2022 or browse a variety of other different Microsoft software and operating systems, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.